Good afternoon, everyone. We're looking at a major tornado situation down in the south for tomorrow. And we're also looking at some potential uh, tornadoes also today in the central U.S. Here is today's severe weather. I look, we have a slight risk of severe storms. It hasn't really much changed uh, from yesterday. We still have that yellow slight risk in place. We still do have a 5% risk of tornadoes. Uh, I think it is a little bit smaller, though of an area in northern texas and oklahoma there we also have a large green two percent risk for tornadoes as well so definitely that tornado threat is going to be there for today and this is going to be mainly overnight severe storms so definitely tornadoes will be much dangerous in overnight uh type storm situations but we have a 15 percent chance for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and a 15 percent chance for upwards of quarter sized hail we're going to be diving a deep look into tomorrow's severe weather uh, outbreak uh, and also even a tornado outbreak is going to be possible tomorrow we have an enhanced risk for severe storms which is going to be a level three out of five on the severe weather scale this is kind of near mid-range risk uh, for tornadoes so we do have that big risk uh, for severe storms and even a, a significant risk for tornadoes we have a large slight risk in place reaching from Kentucky all the way down there to Louisiana and also a marginal risk for uh, isolated severe storms. But there's that tornado risk. We have a 10% hatched risk, which means we could see EF2 to EF5 tornadoes in that yellow and uh, hatched region. And you, of course, you have your general 5% and 2% risk for tornadoes. So a very definite large risk for tornadoes tomorrow and i definitely probably will live stream this so definitely stay tuned for uh, the timing on that and definitely tune into the live stream if you do live in these areas um here's the windows we have, we have a 30 percent chance uh for upwards of even 70 mile per hour wind gusts so wind gusts are definitely going to be a high threat with this due to this being more of a linear system as it starts combining, we're, we're going to see discrete supercells at first. And then it's going to combine into kind of a uh, severe squall line. So that wind threat is going to be increasing substantially as it turns into that squall line. And that tornado threat may diminish a little bit, but the tornado threat is still going to be high. Now as you look at the hail risk, we have a 5% chance for a quarter size sail. So definitely not a big hail risk with this. Let's look at the latest 18Z R model. And this is just reflectivity. We're not looking at precipitation type or anything. So up here, a lot of this is snow and some of us have more heavier rain over here that is going to be freezing rain so just keep that in note here not all of these are going to be thunderstorms uh, this is a whole winter storm system and i did look at all the winter stuff last video uh, so if you are in, in the path of that winter weather the check back in the last video it's yesterday's video uh, for all that winter information but today we're just going to be looking at the severe storm risk because this is going to be quite sign significant here in the south and it's going to be quite the long event uh, for tomorrow so let's look when these storms actually start to, to develop we have some scattered storms over there in around 2 p.m or so uh for thursday let's move forward here and this hrr model is just coming out here so as you can see we see storms starting to form around that'll be around 3 2 to 3 p.m we should see storms firing there and then starting to expand across kentucky tennessee mississippi and going into alabama once we head into around 5 p.m central standard time we're starting to see some very strong storms popping up there in portions of mississippi alabama uh, Tennessee and Kentucky and these storms there's so much storm cells I'm seeing here that this could be a very difficult uh, event to track especially if we do have multiple tornado warnings at one time this event will be quite difficult to track on radar since we have so many cells that I'm seeing popping up on uh this HRRR model but it is also very clustered so that tornado risk uh, may uh, not be that high if these are going to be uh, clustered like this so let's move forward here into more of the evening hours this is going to be 7 p.m we're seeing uh, much more of a linear system but you are still seeing some discrete cells in there uh, some possible tornadic cells in there as well so you're still going to have to watch out for that tornado risk as this is a linear system but most of the tornado risk is going to be right in here. And once this is reaching more of Georgia, that tornado risk is definitely going to be diminishing a lot. 
But it's still going to be there since these storms are going to be so strong. And we're still going to see a, a little bit of shear going in to these storms once you're reaching around the Carolinas and Georgia area. But uh, once you reach into the Carolinas, these should be very um, much breaking apart by then. Um, but mainly this is going to be a type of uh, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, Alabama type of event. And Arkansas maybe see a little bit of scattered storms there in the morning hours of tomorrow. Uh, but mainly, it's going to be, again, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky. We're going to see a lot of those severe storms uh, throughout tomorrow. The significant tornado parameter model, let's look at this here. And as you can definitely see that increasing there over there and around the uh, Tennessee, Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky border. That's where you could see uh, some potential tornadic cells over there in that area. We also have a few cells down there in Mississippi and Tennessee. And that's where you could also see a potential for a significant tornado or two. Definitely strong tornadoes are going to be on the line here with these storms. It's just not a super guaranteed. But we, according to the Storm Prediction Center, we have that chance there for a few strong tornadoes within tomorrow. So definitely stay safe in here. Stay prepared. Uh, get your tornado kits ready and make sure your storm cells are cleaned out or your storm anywhere your storm your tornado safe place is all cleaned out because these storms are going to be quite fast moving so you won't have as much time if you do get a tornado warning if there's actually a tornado on the ground you won't have much time to get into shelter so Definitely stay prepared, prepared for this event here. This is definitely going to be not the most dangerous event, but those to strong tornadoes, again, it's going to be a big possibility within this. And we can look at super solid composite uh, model here with, again, the HRRR model. And that super solid, again, that super solid risk is going to be quite high here with upwards of around the mid medium risk for supercells developing in this area again not the most dangerous event i've seen but this is definitely quite the event that could pr produce a few strong tornadoes or even like ef2 to ef5 tornadoes like the storm prediction center has uh noted in those outlooks so definitely again stay prepared uh stay tuned to the community tab i'll tell you guys when i'm uh, going to live stream tomorrow and also share this with any friends or family that may want the latest updates on this uh, upcoming po potential tornado outbreak for tomorrow also subscribe to this channel if you are new turn on post notifications you won't miss the a single notification on live streams of videos i do do a i try to do daily uploads on all, all things weather events so definitely subscribe it'll be very much appreciated but as always stay safe and also more details uh, to come possibly later tonight so as always stay safe